How does Bluetooth work? Well, the short answer is by sending radio waves from a transmitter to a receiver, but understanding that answer is going to take a little bit more explaining. Let's start with something simple like this Bluetooth mouse. It works by having radio waves sent from the mouse to the dongle, which is connected to the computer. These radio waves are then decoded, and that lets the computer know where the mouse is moving. Inside of this mouse, there's a piece of technology called a radio transmitter that sends out radio waves. And it works by having a tiny little wire that has a current running through it. Now this current is turning on and off, on and off, on and off really quickly, about 2.4 billion times per second. And every single time it turns on and off, the direction that the current is flowing gets switched, which causes these radio waves to get sent out. Now you might be thinking, okay, that's good, we have these waves, but how does the computer know where the mouse is moving just from this wave? Well, the answer to that is you can change things about the wave to change how the data is transmitted. So for example, you could increase or decrease the amount of current flowing through the wire, which would make the waves either bigger or smaller. Additionally, you could change the amount of time that passes between each flip-flopping of the current and on and off cycles of the wire, which would change the distance between the waves. By using either one of or both of these techniques, you can change the height or the distance between the waves, which changes the data that's stored on it. Taking a look back at the big picture, you might still be wondering why it's called Bluetooth in the first place. It doesn't really make sense for the technology. There's actually an interesting story behind it. The idea came from a team of Intel engineers who were developing the technology in the late 1980s. Now, one of these engineers was a fan of Scandinavian history, and more specifically, ancient Scandinavian history. As they were working on this technology, he remembered a 10th century Scandinavian king named Harald Bluetooth, who united the tribes of Denmark. And this engineer thought, oh, there's kind of a correlation there. He united the tribes of Denmark, and this technology is uniting wireless devices. So we'll call it Bluetooth as we're working on it. Now, this wasn't meant to be the final name for the technology. It was just kind of a placeholder. The engineers wanted to name it something really cool, like Radio Wire. But unfortunately for them, they couldn't get the patent in time for release. So Bluetooth ended up sticking around, and it's still what we call it today. As for the Bluetooth symbol, it's actually a combination of this king's initials the H for Harald and the B for Bluetooth in his traditional runic script. I doubt that he would have guessed that his initials and his name would be used for a wireless technology about a thousand years after his death. But that's about all I've got on this topic. If you have any other burning unanswered questions you'd like to see answered, just drop them down in the comments and maybe I'll get to them. But at the very least, now you know how Bluetooth works.